Good morning guys, thanks for coming to another video. Uh, something special to share today, this is somebody's front yard, so um, it is cameraed, it is secured, don't get any cheeky ideas, but let me tell you, there's more going on in this front yard than a lot of people have in their backyard. A really lovely tropical feel that is very special, so let me share it with you. Okay, so, just some random little devaricatas in flower, some big devaricatas also in spike, some over here with their beautiful little flowers showing. Very hard to focus on such a small thing, but we'll try. And then moving along, there's stuff that's just sort of jumped out of the tree that most people would prize that in a garden this big sort of gets left to by the wayside. Sticks of streptophila small forms. There's a mother plant there. Walking back through here, we've got some broms just up a palm tree. Palm trees are a recurring theme in this garden. They're used really heavily to uh, provide habitats for the Tillandsias, both for mature plants and for seeds. Um, of course, beautiful greenery coming along. There's a random variabilis just growing in the tree here, getting some color. It's getting a lot of shade, so it's more green. We'll go back the way we came. Monstera. Pretty, pretty boring in this whole garden. And there we go. Look at that. Wilbergias, Tillandsias, all kinds, all the way up the tree. And this is the shady side. So zoom back out and walk along. It's just giant, big fasciculata plants everywhere. Juncias, more variabilis it looks like, some more Bilbergia. So then the real special thing is the owner. You're unstoppable. Look at this grumpy bloke with his beanie on. And then we have the full sun side of the garden, which is another pandanus palm this time, but covered, absolutely covered in stunning colorful bills, as well as this really, really thick layer of air plants all over. See the colors improve as the plants get higher and get more and more exposure to the sunlight. There's broms and staghorns and all kinds growing in here. We have Palaceae in plague proportion, the Streptophila, the Variabilis, Fuchsiae, which look very similar to Philofolia except the filifolias are more green um, and it's stricter that'll go black out in full sun another streptophila um, a hybrid casey it's only a tiny baby at the moment there's a spattering of bill burgers in there, they're Some loving mini neos it. as well, really nice glowing colour in the sun. Some more mini neos, some more palaceae. Another variabilis. So yeah, variabilis in sunlight can go really, really dark red, almost purple in some cases. Um, but they'll grow just as happily in full shade and just stay really, really bright green. And then we've got some iron anthers and stuff up along the stem here, some baby... Um, A mystery. All right, that comes all the way from down the bottom here in this cup style fasciculata. Beautiful coloured spike. And, and an experiment. One of the experiments gone mad actually, proving that. For Van Heningii. So we mentioned these in another video having variable forms and different different growth habits. You can see a couple of the different ones here. There's a very small compact style clump. And then down here you've got the more sort of elongated, fatter versions. But this is as full sun as you can possibly get. And that direction is north. And they thrive. And then other things out here that get more sun than you might expect. Uh, Gardeneri. Gardeneri. So they're quite a soft leaf, even though they're quite grey. People generally keep them in a greenhouse in a protected environment. But out here, 
pretty exposed, doing very well. So more variabilis Oof. there with the beautiful colouring from the sunlight. Another big one there that's just about to start coming up in spike. And that's a, a pretty look, pretty quick look at a very special back uh, front yard. Front yard. Uh, it's a lot cooler than a lot of people's backyards. So I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll keep the garden tour videos coming. Cheers.